What is up guys? Welcome back to Reject Films. Back with another video for you guys. Got a package here from Cauldron Films, which I believe is owned or at least ran by Jesse Nelson over at Diabolic DVD. At least that's what the package says here. Jesse Nelson. Uh, brand new label, just starting up. This is the first two releases right here in this box. Uh, so really excited to check these out. I already know what they are. You guys probably already know what they are. But we're going to open this shit together just because it's the only fucking package I have. I've actually had it for a few days. I was waiting on some other stuff to come in, but it's just taking forever. So going to go ahead and do this. And then we're going to run through the new Vinegar Syndrome titles that just got announced for uh, August. Uh, which we'll go over to the computer and uh, take a look at those here in just a second. So let's open this uh, package up here. See what we got. Pretty exciting. Uh, speaking of new labels, once we get over to the Vinegar Syndrome side, uh, that'll coincide with uh, that topic as well. So, yeah. Alrighty. This thing opened up here. Hope everybody's doing well, by the way. Hope everybody's been uh, staying safe and uh, enjoying life the best we can during these times, you know. Um, Nice uh, bubble wrap here. All right. And I already knew this was going to be in here. An awesome little addition to your package. Got the cauldron guy. I don't know what the fuck he's called here. The uh, cauldron dude. Uh, the cauldron fucking reaper. Uh, yeah. So really cool magnet. I, I don't know what I'm going to put that on. But uh, I guess uh, you put it on your fridge, maybe. Um, but I don't have anything like metal or whatever in my movie room area to stick him on. But anyway, cool, cool. It's something different. You know, a lot of people do pens or stickers. They did a fucking magnet. So that's cool. Uh, love the logo for uh, for Cauldron, though. That's, that's pretty sweet. So we'll go with this one first. This is an older release here. This is American Rickshaw. This is a Sergio Martino uh, film. I believe it's yeah directed by Sergio Martino as well. Uh, you got Donald Pleasance in here. The only name that I know off the top of my head. This is from 1989. Runs 96 minutes. And uh, yeah, like always, we're going to open these things up. Go over uh, the features. But yeah, American Rickshaw uh, from 1980. Uh, yeah. 1989 almost said 86 for whatever reason and then the other title uh this was a bundle deal i think the bundle part of it sold out but you can buy the films individually that uh, they were showing sold out for a minute too i will leave the link down below to cauldron films if you guys want to check these out and next we have man this slipcase feels awesome uh abra cadabra abra cadabra yo um abra cadabra man abra cadabra boy why do you keep saying that? What? Abracadabra? Yeah. This is actually uh, a newer film. This is from uh, 2018, but it is a take on the old, like, uh, Giallo films and stuff like that, from my understanding. Uh, da, 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 uh, has a goblin esque soundtrack. But uh, let's open these things up, take a closer look at what we got here. And uh, they do come in these slide slip cases, uh, slip box, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, which is a nice little touch, kind of set them apart a little bit. And uh, cool. I look forward to uh, other releases from this label for sure. And uh, let me know uh, how the lighting is, guys. I'm trying some new lighting and stuff like that. Uh, I know it's kind of glaring, I can tell a little bit. And I film with my selfie mode on so I can see what the fuck I'm showing you guys. I know it's better to do it the other way, but I like to be able to see what you guys are fucking seeing. So let's open these things up and take a closer look. All right, so we got these things opened up. We'll start with Abercadabra first. Uh, you do have reverse art on here, but it's pretty much the same as the slipcase artwork. Uh, yeah, that way. Uh, only difference is... Well, I guess there really isn't any difference. There's a white border around that, too. So you can either have it with the white border or without the white border. I just went with, uh, actually did reverse it, but 
Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, you do have a Blu-ray and you have a soundtrack in here as well. This is a compact disc. Yeah. For people who still know what compact discs are, uh, it is a CD. You put in a player. It plays fucking music. Uh, it doesn't play video. It just plays music. Um, yeah. So some cars have these, some older cars and things. Um, but yeah, you do get some like flimsy lobby cards. Who, can I even show that? Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, they do have clothes on. But uh, yeah, they're not as, they're not the thick lobby cards like Arrow. But hey, you know what? It's something. It's better than what your major studios do. So appreciate you, uh, Cauldron, for doing that, hooking it up with the soundtrack. Um, on here we have uh, behind the scenes. We got a trailer. We got Italian 5.1 surround, Italian 2.0, English 2.0. Of course, the CD soundtrack, uh, English and Spanish subtitles. Not a whole lot of features, but yeah. Uh, I know nothing about either one of these films. I hear this one's not great from what I've heard, but, uh, you know, who knows. Uh, now do I want to put it in with the, that way or that way? Uh, you know what? This side's going to be what's facing out on the shelf, so we'll just put it in that way there. That's not the way they were in, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to go too into depth on this. Uh, I guess the synopsis is pretty short. 30 years after his father is tragically killed during a magic trick gone wrong, uh, Lorenzo's own magic act is suddenly derailed by a series of gruesome magic-themed murders. Struggling to prove his innocence, he begins to unravel the mystery that leads him through a uh, bloody trail on the way back to his father's demise. Filled with... Uh, Pulsing goblin esque soundtrack from the 70s atmosphere and all the earmarks of a classic giallo. Uh, Abracadabra at once pays homage to the bloody films of Dario Argento, Sergio Martino, while firmly taking its own place in the genre alongside its companion films in the own Anetti Brothers giallo trilogy. Uh, yeah, so. I'm not an expert on the, the Giallo stuff, or however you want to pronounce it, uh, but yeah, sounds interesting. So moving on to American Rickshaw. This is uh, you know Sergio Martino, and you do have Donald Pleasance in here, uh, so that's that's a plus right there. Inside here we have the, the Blu-ray, and you have a little a little booklet here that you can you can flip through. And uh, you can see more stuff, and you can read if uh, if you like reading. Uh, yeah, that lighting's glaring pretty bad, but uh, you got a you got a snake there. So I mean, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, no DVDs with these, but you know that's fine. Don't really watch those anyways. Um, I already reversed the art here, so that is your reverse artwork. Yeah, that's glaring pretty bad. Uh, my apologies, guys. Um, just trying different things. But, uh, you know, you did have your artwork the same as the slip cover or slip box, slip case, whatever you want to call it. Uh, special features on here. You get a new 2K scan from uh, the camera negative. Interviews with director Sergio Martino and production designer Massimo Ant 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 Antonello. I am so bad at names. Ah, anyway. Commentary with uh, Sam Dagan and Kat Ellinger, who we all know from uh, the Vinegar Syndrome stuff a lot. And uh, the Projection Booth Podcast Discuss, American Rickshaw. Then and now uh, locations, which are like my favorite feature. I love the location features I, when they go back, you know, to the location that they made the movie. And it's nowadays. Yeah, that shit. Anyway, uh, image gallery, optional subtitles, all that good shit. This is from, again, 1989, runs 96 minutes. Uh, yeah, so pretty uh, cool step for a uh, company to come out and release some shit and uh, do a good job on... The box. can't tell if that line's supposed to be there. There's like a line all the way across the, uh, the case here. Up top starts there. 
Uh, yeah, that one doesn't have it. So, anyway, yeah, what the fuck ever. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, you do have some embossing on here. You can fill the uh, the rickshaw and the American. You can fill this uh, a, a bull nose horn thing. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you can fill this line that goes across, which might have cut the box open when they got them in and cut too deep. I'm not really sure. Uh, American rickshaw, or sorry, abracadabra. You can fill the abracadabra. You can fill the abracadabra on the spine. Uh, all that good stuff. And you can fill the embossing on that spine so there's your spines uh they are numbered 001 and 002 so if you guys are looking to uh, collect these i suggest jumping on them quickly uh i haven't checked today could be sold out altogether who knows uh you will when you go to order uh so two films magnet these were like uh i forget what the total price was i honestly don't remember but uh, it was cheaper to buy them in a bundle, buy a few bucks. So, awesome. Uh, Jesse Nelson, you're fucking awesome for starting up this company or whatever involvement you had. I couldn't really find actual information on it. I just know it's got his name on it. I don't know. So, anyway, uh, let's head over to the computer. You guys are done seeing me for this video. It's good to see you guys, though. Um, and we'll go over the upcoming Vinegar Syndrome releases for the August package, which right now it says ships September 1st, which, you know, with everything going on and their halfway sale and everything, maybe they're just still running behind. I don't know, but, uh, seems kind of odd, but anyway, let's go over there and check out what they have coming up. All right, guys, uh, we're going to start out. I'm just going to show you guys the Cauldron film site first. I will leave the link down in the description as well, but I wanted to show you the site just because we're already fucking here, so why not? Uh, before we go any further, guys, if you guys like this content, you guys like this video, uh, be sure to hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe, all that good stuff. I know I don't say that shit enough, but uh, yeah, um, try to show your uh, support to this community as much as you can. I know I try to do what I can to uh, show my support to fellow YouTubers and uh, blue tubers, whatever the fuck you want to call us uh yeah great community so just uh share your support with not just myself but everybody else that does this kind of shit especially the, the boutique label stuff gotta support your indie companies guys and uh you know videos that do show support to those people as well and uh keep them encouraged and keep them you know wanting to keep going so uh you know physical media is on a, a major downcline i know it's picked back up during the pandemic and everything but uh yeah uh we got to keep it alive guys uh, anyway, so here is the site for Cauldron Films. Uh, not a lot on here right now. You know, they just started up. As I said, the bundle is sold out, which is right over here. Uh, but you can still buy them individually. $24.99 for Abracadabra. $26.99 for American Rickshaw. I think by buying the bundle, I saved like five bucks or some shit. Uh, so yeah, you just, you know, you click on that and you add it to your cart and you check out. It's pretty simple. Uh, they accept PayPal and all that good shit. You can watch the trailer down here. Um, American Rickshaw, you do the same thing there. You add that to your card as well. And uh, you can check out the trailer down there as well. So, yeah, Calder Films, they do have uh, one merch. They have a shirt, which is really cool. Uh, I'll probably try to grab that next time I order. And uh, future releases right now, they don't have actual titles, but they are going to be releasing a 70-0 title. And an 80 zero title, so pretty excited for that. Uh, I know they're going to specialize in like Giallo films, uh, the zero titles, westerns, things like that. Uh, if you go to the homepage here, uh, I think it said it somewhere. Yeah, here you go. Uh, Giallo, western, crime, action, exploitation, caught films. Uh, so they're going to be doing a little bit of everything, guys. So show your love and support for uh, for Cauldron here. Show Jesse some love over at a. Uh, you know, from Diabolic, and, uh, you know, put that shit in the cart, check out, and uh, bring them home with you. So, uh, I'm no way endorsed by Cauldron, by the way. I just, uh, I think they're going to be a great company. So, uh, if you guys want reviews on these, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll try to do those, and I might try to do them even if you don't request them. So, let's jump over to Vinegar Syndrome. All right. So here is the August 2020 package, 70 bucks on pre-order right now. So that is definitely the way to go. Uh, you, 
you got your two horror titles and your uh, adult film here. But also, uh, you know, they've been releasing the AGFA titles, which is no surprise here. But we have a new label, guys, that uh, Vinegar Syndrome is uh, distributing here. This is Fun City Editions. Um, so we're going to start with that. And I watched this trailer. This movie definitely looks right up my alley. Uh, cheesy as fuck looking. Um, but I don't know if I'm really a fan of this slipcover. It's really weird. I don't know. Uh, but... Anyway, uh, you can look at some, uh, there's no screenshots of the film on here, but you can find the trailer on YouTube. There's no link to it on the site, but, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to order this one. I'm not big on the AGFA titles or I think I'm saying that right, but, uh, yeah, um, this one's definitely going in my cart and, uh, checking out with the August, uh, package as soon as I order this stuff when I get done, uh, with you guys on this video. But, uh, yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. It's a 1500 uh, limited edition for the slipcover. And, yeah, but like I said, these ship around September 1st. So I find that kind of odd. And it says the same thing for the uh, for the August package. So, yeah, that one sounds pretty interesting, looks pretty interesting. So let's go to uh, the collar, which is, uh, you got Malcolm McDowell in here, which is really cool, uh, and Madeline Smith. From 1987, 97 minutes. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of features, guys. New new scan in 2K from the 35 millimeter mi millimeter introspective. Uh, boiling over an interview with director Arthur Allen uh, Seidelman. An audio interview with Michael Sloan. Promotional gallery, Versar, all that good shit. Um, there is the back of the slip. You do get some screenshots. Looks amazing. Uh, yeah, so... That one sounds pretty interesting, and the big one here a lot of people are excited for, Pandemonium. Uh, here's the back of the slip, here's the opening title sequence, uh, a screenshot of somebody, I'm not sure. Uh, you do have um, Paul Rubens in here, of course Pee Wee Herman, love him in uh, Blow and some other movies too. And uh, you got Phil Hartman in here. You got Judge Reinhold. So awesome cast. I've never even heard of this movie. But uh, there's been quite a bit of pandemonium over pandemonium. So uh, people seem excited about it. So now I'm excited about it. Uh, this is a Region A Blu-ray, which is kind of weird. Usually the Vinegar Syndrome releases are uh, region free. So uh, it's kind of kind of strange. Which I'm going to say is probably going to be one of those Blu-ray only releases. A uh, new scan in 2K from the inter, 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 interpositive, I think I said introspective earlier, fuck, I don't know, uh, Dying of Laughter, an interview with director Alfred Soul, promotional gallery versus art, so again, not too many subtitles here, would have been cool to get like an interview with Paul Rubens or something, or uh, somebody, uh, yeah, but uh, limited edition to 2,500 units on the slip, so I don't think it's going to sell out quickly or anything. But uh, I'm going to have to watch the trailer to that. Uh, no trailer link here. Honestly, I can't remember if uh, Vinegar Syndrome ever did that. And your adult title for the package if you get the completionist. Uh, yeah, Indecent Exposure. Uh, back of the slip. And uh, limited to 1,500 units. I don't know porn star names, but I do recognize that Jesse St. James. That sounds familiar. Uh, Veronica Hart, uh, region free Blu ray DVD combo, new scan in 2K from the original camera negative, reverse art, and theatrical trailer. So, no features on here, which is pretty common for the porn titles, guys. So, not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I'll show a couple screenshots that I can show. There you go, indecent exposure. Uh, you got some stuff there. So, it looks nice and clean. Uh, you know, I mean, it looks dirty, but it looks clean, right? Anyway, so yeah, there is your August releases. I'll, I'll go ahead and do the uh, AGFA title, which is called Limbo. This actually sounds pretty interesting. I read the synopsis, and I kind of want to check it out, but then I'll want to go get all the other uh, releases from them. Here's some screenshots for you guys. Uh, looks kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't know. Uh, it only runs 55 minutes as well, so... Uh, you know, $25 for a 55-minute movie. And... Anyway, uh, they did link a trailer to that one. 
If you guys want to check that out, you do get a region-free Blu-ray, new transfer from original SVHS master tape. So this is a shot on video uh, film here. Commentary track with uh, Tina Krause and the Bleeding Skull team. Archival behind-the-scene documentary. Answering Machine, a short film by Tina Krause. Fan uh, Fantastic Fest Q&A, Eaten Alive, a WAVE production short starring Tina Krause. So you, it looks like you get, you know, at least the archival behind-the-scenes documentary. You get uh, two short films. So I guess that kind of makes up for it only being 55 minutes for 25 bucks. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have seen this movie. Uh, any thoughts on that? But anyway... There are your releases for August from Vinegar Syndrome. And, uh, yeah, make this video short and sweet for you guys. I'll try to do these as uh, some stuff gets announced. And, you know, if something gets announced and I have a package to show you, I'll show you guys my fucking package. Uh, along with, uh, you know, the releases. So, anyway, uh, of course, you know, all your other Vinegar Syndrome titles here, if you guys haven't ordered these, definitely do so. I'm still waiting patiently on the, the July releases, which was Naughty Victorians for the adult title, Perfect Strangers, and the 11th Commandment uh, for your horror titles. And uh, yeah, let me know, guys. I have most all the Vinegar Syndrome releases. Uh, so if you guys want anything for review, let me know. And uh, I'll try to get it out there. So... And I'll keep trying to do them as I pick and choose as well. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in a future video as far as like releases coming out I may not know about or something or some other cool sites that I, I may not have shown. Uh, I, d I do know about some other sites you can order boutique label stuff from. Um, uh, you know, you have your, uh, 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 yeah, um, <laughs> I'm drawing a complete fucking blank right now, but, uh, yeah, Dark Force, you got, you got, like, those guys, you got, you know, you can order direct from, like, Arrow Video, you can order, uh, from, uh, Grindhouse Video, you can order from, you know, all kinds of different places, I mean, you can get some of this shit off Amazon, uh, if you order Vinegar Cinder from Amazon, you're not getting slipcover, so I suggest ordering from the site. And show these guys all the love and support you can. So, until next time, guys. Peace, love, happiness to everybody. And uh, catch you guys next time.